Okay, the uh, first virus I'm going to test is called AIDS. I'm just extracting it now onto the A drive. There's a floppy disk in there. As you can see, the threat has been detected. Uh, so we know it's an infected file. I'm just going to copy that over. Uh, ignore that for now. Let's have a look at the uh, disk. Uh, right, as you can see, the file is definitely infected. Um, this is good, so I can actually test it now. Unfortunately, it's an MS-DOS virus, so it's nothing uh, too special. But um, you know, let's give it a go and uh, see how it works. Okay, uh, I've loaded the uh, disk into the drive, and I'm booted into MS-DOS right now. Uh, I'm gonna check the floppy drive. Uh, okay, as you can see, the aids.com file is there. That is the infected file. Uh, let's run it. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it's actually reading the disk right now. The uh, camera is at a funny angle, so you can't really see what's going on, which is a shame. Uh, but what I'm essentially doing is just running through the directories, um, opening random files and things like that. Uh, I've cut a lot of the film out because it was quite long. Uh, so here we go. Okay. Uh, and this is the uh, payload for the AIDS computer virus. Um, Video quality isn't too good. I'm not sure if you can hear, but I'm hitting on the keyboard right now, just you know, to try and do something. Uh, and this is the screen that we're given, um, and that's the virus, basically. Um, it's nothing, nothing too destructive. Um, it spreads a bit, uh, and this is the screen you're given once in a while, and your system just uh, locks up. Uh, that's pretty much it. Doesn't really do that much damage, but. Uh, you know, 